previous generation Mercedes-Benz GLA 250 seemed conflicted about what it should be. It paired a car-like seating position and sporty hatchback driving verve with semi-butch exterior styling, and the result was a confusing product that failed to hit either mark. This time around, Mercedes decided to nudge the Glock closer to conventional crossover proportions, and that move paid off. The 2024 GLA is a more fully realized product, and it's all the better for a dot leaning into the SUV side of things, strikes us as a smart move, as it means that the new GLA 250 aims at the heart of the subcompact luxury SUV market, by providing a more relaxed and more practical package. The roofline is still slightly lower than the angular GLBs, but the expanded dimensions provide more space for people and cargo, while aligning with the mini SUV aesthetic. FOR 2024, the GLA 250 is for a more mature client. The suspension delivers a comfier ride that doesn't punish occupants over potholes. And yet despite this softening, the GLA maintains much of the last generation's lively handling, and its steering is just as crisp as we expected. BMW's X1 and X2 SUVs offer a higher level of driving acuity, but the Mercedes still offers a satisfying experience behind the wheel. Whereas, the old model felt like a car from behind the wheel, the 2024 GLA has a taller seating position that gives it a more upright feel. A major complaint with the last Glock class was its tight rear passenger area and compact cargo compartment. The new model's increased height and width makes the rear seat feel significantly more spacious, and six carry-on suitcases fit in the cargo area, one more than the last generation. Our test car a well-equipped GLA 254 Matic that carried a sticker price of $49,310 came with the optional instrument panel, featuring two 10.3-inch monitors, one serving as a reconfigurable instrument cluster, and the other handling infotainment functions. This setup is found across the Mercedes-Benz lineup and gives the GLA an appropriately modern feel. 